Hi, my name is Matt. I'm on the partnership team here at Pinterest, and today I want to talk to you about managing your Promoted Pins account. By the end of this video segment, you should feel comfortable managing your account, navigating our online interface, and being able to tease out insights on how you can best optimize your account. Now we're going to dive into an actual account here called Arcade Belts Co. As you log into your account at ads.pinterest.com or navigate there through your user profile, you'll come to this page. Once you've started promoting pins, you'll start to get data in the interface. This is the account level. At the account level, I see a summary of all of the data within my account. Within my account, I have several campaigns running and a summary of the stats of those campaigns here at the top. For my entire account across the date range that I've selected, I have this number of impressions. I can see total repins, clicks, average click-through rate, my cost per click, and my total spend. I also have a nice graph here which will show me over time the trend line for my clicks and repins. With this toggle here on the left, I can switch that to show me spend and how my spend is trending over time. I also have the flexibility to adjust my date range to whatever date range I want to examine and, and analyze. Within the account, the way an account is set up on Pinterest, you have the full account. Within the account are campaigns. And within each campaign, if I click into one of these here, there's promoted pins. So again, the structure of the account is account level, campaign level, and then promoted pin level. Each of these levels within the account will provide me a similar set of data. I can look at the impressions, repins, clicks, click-through rate, CBC, and total spend within this specific campaign. I can also look at the same graph with the same functionality. And I can also see a summary of the promoted pins within this campaign. This area down here gives me the functionality to be able to sort. So I can sort by those that are most clicked. And within each promoted pin, I can see impressions, repins, clicks, click-through rate, CPC, and spend. If I were to click into one of these promoted pins, I will again get a similar set of data with similar functionality. At the pin level, however, there's an added layer of granularity in the targeting terms that I've selected. Again, terms are words that I've selected that describe my, my pin. We use those terms to place an ad where it's contextually relevant across the site. As I look, I can also sort here to see which of my terms are driving the most traffic. I notice here that GIFs is driving a fair amount, winter fashion, and I can see where I'm getting the most of my impressions. I can also here, in targeting at the pin level, drill down into devices and other forms of targeting. By doing so, I can get insights into what kind of devices my users are using and where I'm driving the most efficient traffic. You'll notice as well, if I come up here, there's a breadcrumb trail so I can see exactly where I am within the account. If I want to get back to the account level, I click here on Promoted Pins. That will bring me back to the summary of my entire account. You'll notice you can tell if one of, your, one of your pins is running through several notifications. Here I see all of the campaigns that are actively running. I'll also see below those that are paused or those that have ended. If I drill into one that's actively running, I'll see at the top that this campaign is running itself and that the pins themselves are approved. In other campaigns, I might notice that while the campaign itself is running, the promoted pin is pending review or perhaps has failed the review queue. Pending review means that it's a recent pin and our team is looking into it to make sure it adheres to all of our ad policies. So I should expect this within 24 hours to be through the review queue and a live pin. The data within your account will populate once a day. And after 24 hours, after it's been live, I should expect to see some data here for this new pin that I've promoted. At each level of the account, you can also use the export functionality to export data to, to analyze in Excel or other tools. If I export here, it'll give me a download that I can pull up, which summarizes all of my campaign level stats. Similarly, if I do that within a campaign, I'll get a similar download that shows the stats for the promoted pins within that campaign. 
And again, if I drill into a promoted pin itself, I can export that data to get an understanding of the terms that that promoted pin is targeting. Now, if I want to think about how I should best optimize my account, that's where the data really comes into play. If I come back to the account level, I'm first going to start within all of the campaigns. By sorting by clicks, I can see which one is really driving the most traffic. I can also see CPCs here. Notice that this campaign, built general terms, is driving traffic fairly efficiently at 43 cents. I'm actually comfortable getting traffic to my site and paying a dollar per click. I also want more traffic. 14 clicks over the last few days is not enough. And I can go into all of these pins and edit them by clicking here on Edit Promoted Pin. To drive additional traffic, I can go in and add additional search terms here. Or I can copy and paste from an Excel file here, either comma separated or by line breaks. Additionally, if I'm looking to gain more traffic, I can increase my maximum CPC bid, which is the maximum amount I'd be willing to pay for a visit to my site. Currently bidding $1. I'm going to adjust that to $2 and see if that will help me get additional traffic. You'll notice that the bid was $1, but the average CPC was $0.35. Cents. Typically, you will not pay your maximum CPC, and it will fall somewhere below based on the competitiveness of an auction and also the quality of your ad. Further, I can look to see which pins are not performing. Here in the Belts Buy Gifts, I notice that there's a fairly low click-through rate at 0.03%. I can drill into this campaign to try and understand why. There's one pin here, and I'm going to look in and see why is this not performing well. It may be a number of reasons. Perhaps it's the pin. I can click View Pin, go through, and see which promoted pin I've, I've chosen. And perhaps the pin itself doesn't follow some of our best practices and could be enhanced by promoting one, a pin that does follow those best practices. It may also be that I'm bidding on irrelevant terms, and those terms are not resonating with Pinterest users when they see this particular ad. If I sort here by impressions, I can see that the term Christmas is generating a lot of impressions but no clicks. Perhaps not a, that's not a term that I should bid on. When thinking about how to best structure your account, there are several things to think about. I personally like an account that's structured based on topics. This particular company sells belts. You can notice that they've structured their account by different types of, or groups of terms. General terms, women fashion terms, men's fashion terms, gift terms. That's a really nice way to break apart the types of targeting that you're doing and to gain insights into how those different targeting terms perform. If you have several product lines, let's say you're a furniture store, you could have campaigns around couches, sofas, armchairs. Or if you were an apparel retailer, you could have campaigns around jackets and shoes and jeans. Campaigns are where you're daily budget sit, so you can also use campaigns as a way to allocate your spend across different product categories if you would like. Overall, campaign structure is, is fairly simple. So this covers managing your promoted pins account. Hopefully after this module, you'll feel comfortable navigating your account and finding insights to help you get the most out of your promoted pins.